everyone, Tony here at Gamescom to talk to you about uh, Dark Soul. I'm here with Matthew from Dark Soul Community. Hi Matthew, how are you? I'm okay, Tony. Fine. So we, uh, we're going to make you a playthrough of the actual version you can play here on the show floor, the def uh, version of Dark Soul. And Matthew is going to do that for us. Are you in? Yeah, okay, but I'm, I'm going to go with the easy character just so I don't make a fool of myself. <laughs> okay. Let's go! Okay, so I'm going to start with Solera of Astoria, who's the, the slightly buffed up character for the demo. Okay. Um. Testing, testing. Uh. Yeah, here's everyone's favorite dragon, which I'm hoping is going to kill a lot of people over the next couple of days. Uh. Just give you an idea of, of how intimidating it is to stand in front of this thing. Ah! As you can see, um, those of you who've seen the E3 demo will probably notice that that has changed quite a bit since the original one. It's even more powerful than it was before, which just isn't fair. I nearly started off my little uh, demonstration with a, a death, but let's head on. Remember to check your corners. Ooh. Backstab and then a repost. Right. This boar, I think, is the uh, the first big challenge in in this demo version. But we've got to try and get it on its own. That almost went really badly. But I'll show you why the board can be so problematic. Yeah, but that's an armored boar. Oh. That's a trick of game there. An armored boar. <laughs> the good thing is, though, uh, if you get behind it, it has a weak spot. So you got to keep avoiding those archers. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm in trouble. Got a retreat. So, oh boy. I got lucky there. <laughs> okay. Use the big sword this time. that one dealt with. Now oh, yeah, this gate up ahead is already closed, so you've got to go this way instead. See, I have it. Uh, the, uh, the spear wielding shield guys are quite annoying to kill. So you've got to try and get around them. Yeah, like that. One of the uh, the things which really surprised me the first time I ever played this was these crossbow men here. Uh, and if you get near them, they actually will pull out a sword and try and fight you up close. Just not something you'd expect. Uh, no, this is the side passage. Let's chase this guy out here. Probably not a good idea. Uh. Oh, two for one. Uh, enemies bear quite a resemblance to ones from the very beginning of Demon's Souls as well. Just as annoying. First bonfire I'm gonna stop at. I think I need a rest after that. 
Here I'm just going to show you if you, uh, if you choose to strengthen the fire, you can offer up your humanity. And if you look at the number of flasks I have there in the bottom left, uh, so that doubles, which is very helpful. That's something I really look forward to seeing in the final game. Uh, these enemies are some of my favorite. This design is... Fight fire with fire. Oh. On guard. Okay. Never finesse feels, just use brute force. It's not working really well either. Oh dear. Oh, he's copying me now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Those enemies are very annoying because they seem to be much more clever than any of the enemies in Demon Souls. They uh, sneak up on you, they heal each other. It's... The ones with the swords, like these guys, are even more annoying than the ones with the rapiers. Yeah, but you're lucky here, it's one versus one. Just imagine when there's two or three. I'll show a little trick for uh, getting rid of those guys in a minute. There's another one coming this way, no? Alright, if you use the kick, you can break their guard. Still doesn't stop them from pummeling you, though. It's one of my favorite moves. Every fight against those guys is a struggle. Uh, we're, uh, we're getting to the part where things start getting really dangerous now. The undead church. It's, uh, it's one of my favorite enemy designs on this demo. Something really interesting is if uh, I haven't got it here, but if you use the uh, if someone's used the Grave Lord Stone, there are two of them instead, which is uh, makes things a little bit harder. First time you see that shield, you just don't know where you're gonna go. But. have a very long reach as well. <laughs> yeah. uh, you might have noticed there, whenever I first entered, I got hit in the back with a spell. Well, I'm going to go and get the guy responsible. Very careful not to run around corners without checking first. Yep. Oh no. Yeah. You can see um, I'm actually I'm using the the very easy character compared to the other ones, and even then that almost killed me in one shot. So. Oh dear. A big part of what you have to remember to do in, in games that are difficult like this is to, to separate your enemies out. Of course that. Doesn't help if there's so many of them. Oh, let's see, where's the big guy gone? Aha! Head upstairs and finish this. I'm nervous about this fight now. I'm not doing too good this time. This is uh, a 
I think uh, a, lot, a lot of people said the same thing I did, which is that if there's anything that we could see in the very first play of Dark Souls, it's uh, the most annoying, uh, very similar to the most annoying boss in the whole of Demon Souls, and this is just the beginning for Dark Souls. Uh, but this is where things get very tricky. As you can see, I kind of collided with him in midair there, but whoa, tail went flying. Uh, uh, I'm glad I got a chance to show that. It's something I was going to recommend people to try whenever uh, they were fighting these guys. You cut their tails off, it really limits what they can do. Gives you more uh, room to strike them from behind. Alright, you'll see why this becomes difficult in a second. We all know that there's a... Uh, oh dear. This is why Solaire has his trusty lightning bolt. Wow, that did not help. <laughs> no, you make it. Oh. Once you've evened the odds a little bit, now you can go back in toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Uh, something I didn't realize whenever I first played it at E3, but the shield is really valuable against that fire attack. Blocking the fire attack lets you wade right in and in counter attack. Ooh. Problem is with uh, all of his heavy armor, so there's quite slow. So. Yeah, Midi is unbalanced because Donald not his uh, tail anymore. You think that would make it easier, but no. <laughs> Use the big sword for the finale. Uh -huh. that's it. And that's it. So I hope everybody gets a chance to try this out here on the on the floor at Gamescom, and maybe that little very badly done walkthrough by me might give them a hand in trying to beat it. And I hope to see loads of you here. Very impressive. So, now you like it, you want more, go on the Facebook page, Dark Souls official Facebook page, go on the preparetodie.com, tell us what you think, and ask us for more. Cheers. See you guys.